All right, everybody, welcome to the live stream. Tim Bart's here, Lama MacArthur Ford, Salina, Kansas. And uh, uh, hopefully I added, I added the counter there and uh, started off. So that way, I kind of noticed last week there was a little bit before everybody gets in here. So that gives everybody an opportunity to get that notification and then jump into the live stream. So hopefully that helped out. So every week, just kind of stepping up the game a little bit, uh, kind of new to the, the live stream here on, on our eighth episode here. And so welcome everybody to the live stream. I think my audio is good. My looks like it's good. Give me some thumbs up there if uh, you're hearing good audio there. All right, good, good, good. We're good to go. So we're gonna jump right in. First thing uh, before we get started, though, don't forget. I want to remind you all that you go ahead and if you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button. That kind of promotes the video up for people, other people that are out there looking for a live stream, uh, and that promotes that, that the video up for you. I really appreciate that. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed to the channel and then hit that notification bell right beside that and you'll get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to the channel there put this mic in the right place here uh, also if you're not uh, if you didn't know this but uh, I kind of mentioned this last week and some people had joined but we do have membership available for our channel uh, once you hit over 30,000 subscribers you can get a membership um, going and we did that uh, for this channel and uh, so we have some some perks in there so if you hit that little join button down there beside the subscribe button it tells a little bit more about what kind of perks you can expect and such and uh, trying to do a little bit better job of that pretty new on this uh, we're only like in our second uh second month i believe on that uh going but uh, we did uh throw out uh you know give away some stuff uh that i can uh hats shirts that kind of stuff from different events um for merch and some other things so check out the perks there if you want to join go ahead and join it's only five dollars uh and uh, but otherwise enjoy the channel uh don't just want to throw that out there for anybody that wants to uh, join uh the membership so moving on uh first wanted to congratulate uh, Anthony looks like Anthony got scheduled for or he got his his Maverick has arrived at his dealership and so he should be going to get delivered real soon uh, and we actually have a couple others uh, we had a couple stock units that arrived this week and we actually sold both of them <laughs> right as they showed up one was uh, one was uh, uh, somebody purchased that actually had one on order with us before and decided they didn't want to they wanted to go ahead and get one and so they purchased one of our stock units and then the other one was actually purchased before it came in we had three showing up on the website he contacted us and, and did and went ahead and went ahead and pulled the trigger it was close enough to his build uh so he went ahead and worked a deal on that one so both of them are sold but i am going to show you one of them later we're going to show you uh, what uh, one customer had five different accessories added to his truck after it showed up a couple of those that he in in lieu of getting those of course at, from the factory some of you are realizing you need to do that so hopefully give you a good idea of kind of the, the what you can expect from people that have orders with us on the type of quality that we have with our different aftermarket supplies so let's jump in first start talking about the scheduling uh, just to kind of break down uh, for this video we're going to do talk a little bit about scheduling what vehicles are scheduling some other things to think about if you want to put an order in also we'll talk about we had wholesale our wholesale meeting with our rep yesterday uh so to tell you a few notes that we got from that meeting as well as we have the constraint guide or uh the the different constraints for the different models here and i'll go over a few of those models um as well in this video so we'll go over that too and then we'll get into some a couple other things and remind you of about a, a couple things as well uh for this too so uh, so let's jump in talk about some scheduling so first of all this week there is scheduling for uh, now this is a cleanup week which what cleanup week means is that for dealerships that have allocations that haven't been that they've earned but and for the month but they haven't fulfilled or they still have some left then they can go ahead and schedule some and they'll get some schedules so uh, for maverick maverick is available this week uh, that's a, probably a lot of you on here uh, that are interested in the Maverick information. If you're at a dealership that has some open allocations, the reason they would probably have some fulfilled and not been used yet is because they didn't have any orders that fulfilled what the factory is looking for. So, and again, we'll talk about constraints in a little bit, but you, uh, those are some things to keep in mind. So Ford will usually say, you know, think about these things with that. <clears throat> Um, also, uh, we're going to uh, dive in. Super Duty is also scheduling this week. Uh, Transit, Transit Connect Van and Wagon. Uh, Bronco Sport is being scheduled. Uh, another thing they reminded us again uh, this month that if you have a big bin 
and the customer wanted that optional 18 inch wheel that that's in high demand um, so try to schedule see if they'll take it without the wheel otherwise they may not get scheduled um, for production for October which actually starts next week uh, so keep that in mind also edge is scheduling this week Explorer uh, for 21 models uh, you're getting Bronco was being scheduled uh, Expedition uh, something to, to note on Expedition is that uh, starting October four schedules for stock uh, expeditions they will start adding the auto start stop delete uh, from that there is an auto start stop delete availability on the expedition as well as f-150 that you can actually take that off your truck so you don't have to worry about you know having that to deactivate the auto start stop button uh, so those are on all the stock units are going to automatically be added to stock units starting for any scheduling builds for october 4th uh, any others they you would want to any retail orders they would have to make sure they add that as an option so it's an optional equipment is what it is uh, and then 21 balance out is october 14th so any changes spec changes to uh, 21 expedition uh, orders you'll need to make sure you make those changes by october 14th f-150 is also scheduling this week as well as ranger uh, something to note on ranger balance out is thursday which means that if you have a ranger order you want to change a color equipment or something you need to make sure you make those changes with your dealer by thursday and they're submitted uh, that will be the last day to make those changes escape is also ordering uh, going to be scheduling this week and then on the lincoln side i don't usually talk a lot about lincoln in this video but aviator and corsair are the only ones that are going to be scheduling for the month of october coming up uh, so none of the other uh, lineups are going to be scheduling for the Lincoln lineups. So uh, some wholesale information. Let's move on into that. Make sure I don't have anything uh, that I need to cover here. I'll get into questions in just a little bit, but I have some written down from some of you uh, early on because I want to grab some of those questions. Uh, um, so we'll, uh, let me write down this one about the first edition. I want to make sure I comment on that later. Um, for uh, that person so okay uh, wholesale for this week uh, the f-150 lightning they did talk a little bit about it uh, they said news will be coming soon on the order conversion process so there's going to be some some uh, information soon we do know there's a date October 26th is there uh, so we believe that's when the build and price might be up um, we'll get more information about that uh, soon also Bronco the Bronco order guide is going to be available October 8th so if you're interested in 22 bronco maybe you have a 21 on you know on order and it's going to get converted over 22 and you want to know any changes i'll be doing a video after the order guide goes a lot and gets uh we get that so october 8th uh looks like that's friday so probably saturday i'll be recording and hopefully editing and uploading a video on the 2022 bronco changes so i'll do a video on the changes first and then i'll do individual breakdowns of each of the different trims like i normally did like i did with the maverick also, build and price and web do, uh, will open October 13th. So those of you that are looking for a 22 Bronco or you've got pushed back, yours didn't get, end up being a 21 build, um, information, build and price will be open for 22 model year on October 13th on Ford's website. And then December is when scheduling will begin for 22 Bronco. So, um, or December scheduling will begin, which will be the 1028. So uh, that'll be 1028 is when that will open up uh, for us to be able to start scheduling, it looks like. So, uh, and then tomorrow there is going to be a dealer cast uh, to go over 22 deployment for the F-150 Lightning. So we'll have, uh, we'll, we'll get that. That's a dealer uh, cast that goes out and we'll learn a little bit more information about uh, what's going to happen for, uh, actually, I think I have that under Bronco. So I think it's going to be, you know, so we know how to convert, how it's going to happen for those, those leftover orders for 21 moving to 22. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> so anyway, so let's move on to the constraints. So, <clears throat> So let's talk a little bit about that. So what, what are some of the constraints? A lot of you are in here for the Maverick. So let's go ahead and I'll just move down to Maverick and talk about them first. Uh, there is, it looks like they are scheduling a few more tonneau covers. So for those of you that have taken the tonneau covers, I don't think you need to feel bad about it because the numbers are pretty low. So the tonneau cover soft folding, that 21D option, they're only going to pull 5%. And it will vary by dealer, but nationally they're only going to have about 5% of the orders that will have the, those uh, soft folding bed covers. Hard tri-fold covers will be 3%, as well as 3% on the hard roll-up. So again, a very small percentage. So I've had people uh, you know, kind of comment on my you know, videos where I tell them to take 
the hard covers off and then they get scheduled and they like to kind of rub it in my face and say see i got mine scheduled i didn't have to take mine off and i and that's usually when i tell them could you might want to go get a lottery ticket as well because you got lucky so uh same so just keep that in mind some of these really low numbers means they're not going to do that many uh, but if you really want it on there put it on there and see if it schedules uh, and if it doesn't, somebody else might go above you. So that's that chance that you might take uh, with that. Okay, some other low, low numbers here. Uh, bed mat is going to be 3% as well. So if you want a bed mat, again, that's something you can get afterwards uh, from your dealer. Um, protective fender film is 0%. So that's a pretty definite. You probably want to take that off. Um, and then also spray in bed liner. So spray in bed liner again is it, and this is as a, a standalone option. If it's included in a package, um, that does not this not considered here. The, we're talking about the standalone option, that 96G option. If you have that on your order, then that is a three percent. So they have really lowered that down. Only three percent of the orders are going to have the spray and bed liner. Bed extender has been added to the list. Now that is a three percent as well. That 50G uh, optional option there. If you want that bed extender, only three percent of the orders are going to have that on them that are going to be scheduled for the month of October. And then uh, let's talk about a couple packages. XLT Luxury Package is at 20%. So that means about, you know, they're going to pull, uh, if they pull 100 orders, only 20 of the 100 are going to have the XLT Luxury Package. So again, people that have, you know, an XLT without a Luxury Package, they're more likely to get their scheduled. So that's kind of what that means there. Um, also, the Lariat Luxury Package is 18%. So pretty close to the same number. So 18 to 20 on the Lariat Luxury Package. And from what I understand, from what I, th I, I think I understand, is that's because of that spray and liner. So they are trying, I think they're trying to come up with uh, some options there uh, because the, those are, because a lot of people are getting those packages plus the standalone options. They're running through those, uh, the, the material for the spray and bed liners real quick. And again, spray and bed liners can be done at the dealer afterwards. It's going to show you some images of somebody that did that here at the dealership already on theirs. And then also the hybrid engine is at 40%. So four out of 10 of the orders pulled will be hybrid. The other six out of 10 will be EcoBoost. So keep that in mind. So they are still scheduling hybrids this month, like every month they have so far. Uh, we'll get into, somebody asked a question about hybrid uh, delays and such. Uh, there is no delays on those orders. I did see some hybrids getting their build pushed back a little bit. And that might be just because they didn't have, you know, the what they needed in time uh, for those those to be scheduled that week. Um, so they, that's why they had to move those back a little bit. But they're still going to be scheduled and be built. Uh, so let's talk about a few others. I won't uh, talk about too many of these because most of you are in here because of the Maverick. But I will talk about the Bronco. Um, some of you do follow us for the Bronco content as well. Um, so Bronco retail, that's people that have an order in, um, hard top molded in a roof. If you have that on there, 43%. So it looks like they're adding more. Uh, so more of them are going to be scheduled with the hard tops. 43%. Uh, that's about half almost. Um, two door is 14%. So if you have a two door, that's a very low number. Uh, you probably may not be scheduled the rest. Of, I mean, there's a few more. I think there's like maybe this month of scheduling, and then I think it's going to cut off. Uh, so you probably uh, you only have a, a few, maybe even just a couple weeks here uh, for those. Wild track is at 15%. So most of those orders aren't going to be wild tracks either. Sasquatch is 49%. So that's actually about half. The modular front bumper, that 55G, is 49%. The trailer tow package, uh, 53Q, is 42%. Uh, Safari bar uh, is 10%. Uh, the luxury package is 30%, and the paint protection film is 3%. So pretty low number for luxury. So if you have, like, you're looking at a, a wild track, which also includes a Sasquatch, which also includes some of it includes the luxury package, you know, that's a pretty low numbers. And more likely, you're not going to get your scheduled. If it's two-door, you're probably, you're getting a lot of things that are being checked off there. So uh, you can tell they're wanting to get uh, as many as they can out. And so, you know, we've had some customers to switch to four-door and such to get theirs built. Uh, some people are just, you know, they're willing to, they're okay with waiting. So that's, that's fine. Um, there's some other different things. Uh, we can uh, F-150, won't talk too much about that. There's not too many F-150s being pulled right now. I think we're getting 14 this month is all. Uh, scheduled um, and then on Ranger um, 
there are a few things in Ranger that are in uh, constraints. A lot of them have to do with appearance packages. So if you have a Ranger with an appearance package, those numbers are a little low. It looks like STX special edition package is at 20%. The trimmer graphics package is only 2 or 3% of the orders. Uh, Two-wheel drive is only uh, 30 to 35% of them. 0% um, on XL. So if you're looking at XL Ranger, uh, then you're probably not going to get scheduled at all. Uh, stock Lariat Super Cab is 0% uh, as well. So uh, you can kind of see some of those. Uh, Super Cab in general is 22 to 24%. So it uh, looks like they're trying to schedule a bunch of Super Crews. So I think I covered most of those. Oh, Bronco Sport. I mentioned the 18-inch optional wheel in the Big Ben. Uh, Big Ben with moonroof is also 0%. So if you are looking at that Big Ben and you have that optional package, uh, and with the moonroof, it's getting 0%. Outer Banks with moonroof is 0% as well. So it looks like they're out of those moonroofs for the Bronco Sport. Outer Banks in general is 24%, and Badlands is only 8%. So uh, anyway, if you want any others, there's a few other commodities and some of the other models, but just kind of... Drop that in the comments and tag me in there, and we can cover those. So uh, going on, uh, with something that actually was just released today, uh, that the 0% tw on 21 F-150 has been extended uh, to the end of the month. So 0% for 72 months on 21 F-150s. If you see one out there on a, a dealer or if you have one on order, you can get this. It is this, this is for tier 0, 1, and 2. Uh, so you can get that 0% for 72 months. Saves you a lot of money. Uh, finance charges there uh, for on an F-150 there. Also, don't forget, tomorrow there is a, Ford is doing a live Q&A at 6 p.m. Central Time. So an hour before this and normally airs tomorrow night. The link is in the description. So in fact, I have a bunch of links in the description. We're going to talk about all of them um, right now. One of the links is for the Ford live Q&A. Go in there. Please go in there, spend some time. If you have uh, maybe a hybrid on or you have some questions about some things that I'm not getting answers to, uh, go in there, ask them. Uh, post that question in there. When are the hybrids going to get released from the factory? When's the EPA testing going to be done? Ask those questions about them uh, in there in that live Q&A. I'm really looking forward. I'm going to be there as well, right along with you guys. So I'm going to make sure I'm in there tomorrow night and checking and watching that video out as well uh really curious on how that's going to go and how long it's going to last but um so it gives you a great opportunity to kind of ask those questions to ford uh, that's going to be probably uh, probably the brand manager is going to be there uh so i assume he'll be on the, on that live uh call um that's the person who i've been connecting with and getting a lot of answers so uh, hopefully he's on the call as well as somebody else from ford there ford marketing people will probably be on there as well so uh, let's let's uh, give them all those questions there uh you know we have 300 people in here on this live stream right now uh, so I expect at least you guys to be on there tomorrow night, right? So let's let's, let's get on there and check out that live stream. Also, uh, I do want to kind of highlight a, a channel, a YouTube channel. Um, it's a channel that I actually uh, found out because I was on Reddit and one of those videos came up, came out, and I watched the video and uh, and that's Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. Uh, he is a lot of similar style than what I have here and, he, and similar goals as well. He is just a, a regular person that loves Ford vehicles. I think he has a brother that uh, works for a Ford dealership or brother-in-law and and he just he is passionate about the ford vehicles and he wants to help people out uh, help them you know educate them on ford vehicles he just got his own ford bronco uh and uh he has been really passionate about getting information on the maverick out there i'm sure some of you already have watched some of his videos um but you know you know just take a chance go out there he he's got about three thousand subscribers he deserves a lot more than that he puts a lot of energy in and his his videos i think are pretty good um and he really goes through and explains things and uh, lets the informs the, the community so I want all of you to go over after we're done with this live stream. I want you to go over to his channel, give him a sub, uh, click that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell, and uh, check out his video. He, I think you really like it, so uh, uh, check out his his channel. I watch it when he puts videos out, and I think you'll like him too. Also, tonight I'm going to be on a live stream. Somebody asked me to join their live stream called Auto Transport Intel. Uh, his live stream is going to be right after this. I think I go on there at 8:50 tonight. Um, so just kind of a guest appearance, and I might have him on our uh, live stream as well. So we're going to we're doing a collab with each other. So check out his video, especially if those of you that want to know a little bit more about the auto transport business. Uh, that's kind of what this his channel is all about. So I may have him on next. Uh, see if we can have him on in a couple weeks. Maybe not next week, but see if he can enlighten us on the process. 
or auto transport or something like that. So I'll talk to him a little bit more about that tonight and pick his brain about that tonight uh, to get us some information there. Um, Alrighty, uh, I think I've highlighted that. Oh, there's one other. Somebody asked me about the Ford Pass credit card because uh, one of the things that's pretty cool, and I have one myself. Actually, I probably shouldn't show it because I don't want you guys seeing the number. <laughs> but uh, I do have one myself. Uh, I have the link in the description here for Ford Pass credit card. So you can click on that link. And that helps you go to, and if you want to apply for, you can get the Ford Pass credit card. What's cool about that is when you get your Maverick and you get your Ford Pass account, when you start using that credit card, it goes towards getting uh, more points for rewards. And you can say, well, what are those points good for? Well, when you purchase a, a Ford vehicle, when you get when you purchase your Ford Maverick, you're going to get enough points for two free oil changes, tire rotation, and that kind of thing. Or you can also use it for um, accessories too. So you can use it for all kinds of things, service, accessories. I think I've had about four oil changes on my truck and haven't paid for one of them yet uh, because I've used the, the every time I use the credit card if it's uh, and you get certain percentage is kind of paid back kind of like discovery does um, discover I guess they do the, the similar thing so I use my credit card uh, like I do my bank card and I just pay it off at the end of every month uh, so there's a link for that credit card uh, I suggest if you want to go in there and uh, and, and do the same thing and uh, that can, helps you get some reward points so when you go in you don't have to pay for oil changes uh, I don't think I paid for an oil change since I got this credit card um, and I have you know three vehicles in my fleet so anyway speaking of that I want to congratulate my sister her Lincoln Corsair came in today it arrived we're getting it set up for her so that she can come pick it up this weekend so congratulations to her she got a really nice Lincoln Corsair pretty loaded up um, and I thought you know I don't know if you guys care or, or not but I thought it'd be fun to kind of tell you uh, you know some of the vehicles that are in the fleet in our family very much a Ford family here. So in my driveway, I have a 2021, 2020 Ford F-150 XLT Crew Cab 4x4 that I drive. Magma Red, love the color. Um, also, my wife drives a 2018 Ford Expedition. Uh, Stone Gray is the color on that one. It's an XLT 202A equipment group. Um, and then also, um, my son is driving a Ford Fusion Hybrid, uh, silver one. Uh, that is pretty loaded up as well. Uh, so, I mean, that's a pretty cool uh, little lineup in our. Of course, I do have a Bronco on order as well that is getting built tomorrow. Pretty excited about that. So, we can get that here uh, real soon and have that in our driveway as well. My daughter, my oldest daughter, drives a Transit Connect. Uh, my second oldest daughter, she drives a Ford Escape. Uh, so, that one uh, works really well. And then my dad has a 21 F 150 Lariat crew cab that he uses to pull his camper. And then my mom has a Ford Fusion Hybrid as well. My sister now will have a Lincoln Corsair, and my brother drives a Ford Ranger. So you can tell we're a Ford family through and through. Um, and it's not just because I work here, but I really think they have great uh, products out there too. So I see Johnny's actually in the live stream tonight. So thanks for joining us, Johnny. So uh, I, again, keep up with those videos. I really appreciate them because it really does help out the community here. So, all right. So moving on. Uh, okay, let's get into our Q and A now. So. Uh, are you guys ready for some questions? I do have a couple in here. Some people asked about somebody asked about the hybrid auto start stop uh, That they don't see a button on the hybrids and that's because they're automatically getting the auto start stop So when you pull on I have this with my Ford Fusion now when you pull up the stoplight stop sign The whole goal is to you're driving a hybrid because you want to save fuel economy You want to save on fuel so it is going to unless it needs uh, to turn the, to power the vehicle on uh, because it needs more battery power or something it's going to try to use your battery when you come up to stop light stop sign it's going to automatically shut it off so that is something that you're going to have on the hybrids there's no no need for a button there because that's the goal behind that is to be able to conserve on that battery power so uh, that's going to just come with it so there's no need for a button also some people asked ian asked about the hybrid delay for epa testing again i don't know i still haven't gotten an email back yet um so we hopefully will get EPA testing soon. Again, I, I encourage you guys to go on the live stream tomorrow and ask them. Uh, hopefully we get that, the testing results real soon. Uh, a lot of people are excited and hoping, hoping that today with all the reviews that went out, uh, that uh, we know we'd get that as well. Um, and I really think once they get that EPA testing, they're going to get those, uh, those vehicles out because they really don't want to have them at the factory setting they want to get them out they want to get those 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 vehicles out to the customers and to the dealers as as quick as possible uh so um you know 
they're gonna i think that test is gonna come as soon as they can uh as soon as the apa testing is done then we're gonna see those shipped out we do did see uh i think within the last week a lot of people said that they got uh, delivery dates uh with which they didn't have before uh for their their hybrid vehicles which means maybe it is getting real close and they maybe maybe they know a date Maybe they've contacted them and said, yes, uh, you know, this is a date that you're going to be able to do it. And maybe it's just a matter of adding those those numbers for their window stickers. And maybe that's just all we're waiting on. So hopefully it's, it's real soon. Uh, Gary also asked about, uh, can the all-wheel drives get 30 miles per gallon? The all-wheel drive that we have here, it's FX4 package with the 4K tow package. Uh, it's, it said it got 29. And I actually did not. I drove it for a little bit. Uh, but I didn't even look at the fuel economy rating and didn't look at that and the testing. Um, so I, I'm not sure what, uh, when we were driving it, what it, what it did receive. But uh, I think even all the even the all-wheel drives are going to get really good fuel economy with the EcoBoost. So I think you really like it. So um, a couple of people uh, commented. Uh, something else I want to talk about is the test drive videos. I did a test drive video this weekend with a vehicle that luckily we, we received one and I get a chance to drive it. Um, I'll say that is the first review video of uh, test drive video I've ever done, <laughs> uh, and I've been doing these videos since 2014 for the you know different vehicles and product, and I'm more of a you know just just the facts type of guy of features and that kind of stuff of knowing features and explaining features. Um, but test driving, I've always left that up to the to those different um, you know automotive review sites because I figure you know are you going to really um, pay attention to you know for somebody that works at a dealership and trust them or somebody that's independent so i feel like there's so many good reviewers out there already that most people are going to be watching them and their videos and that my videos probably you know getting it from somebody like me isn't but there are a lot of people that ask for that from me so i i decided i went ahead and did my own review so hopefully you guys liked it again first one i've ever done so take it easy on me uh also uh notice of uh, course um I, one of the ones that i think you really should watch is um I assume you put it on there, um, but Johnny, did you put your your uh, video up uh, today? I assume he he did a really good job. He went to a, a ride and drive type of situation, I believe, in his, and um, he did a really good job explaining how they rode and how they felt. And I think you should watch his video as well. And of course, there's a bunch of them out there, but um, and I haven't had a chance to watch any of them yet. But I am going to be looking for some hybrid ones because we did not get a hybrid in. The video I did was on the. Um, the EcoBoost. So you can check that video out on our YouTube channel if you want to. Uh, so thanks, uh, thanks to Ridgeview, one of our members. So thanks for uh, letting me know that. Also, first edition, some people asked about that, about when, uh, when's the last they can schedule a first edition. Uh, the th easy thing to remember on the first edition that it's a package. It's no different than like a Lariat Luxury package or an FX4 package. It's going to be available for the entire model year. So it's not exclusive to the numbers. So as long uh, it's only going to be available for the 22 model year, um, but it is going to be available for the full year. So there's not going to be, whoa, kick my camera. <laughs> there's not going to be a, a deadline on that package. It'll be, it'll continue to be, uh, for the year. They may towards the end, they may balance out and say, we we're going to balance out on the, the first edition, uh, at some point, but not, not that we know of for a while. I've really messed up my camera angle. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So that's what we know. So any other questions? I'm sure you guys have some questions for me. Uh, there and I actually not looked at the uh, chat screen uh, chat room here. Um, so I schedule with you uh, with you all an XLT luxury FX4 with the tow uh, FX4 package. How many allocations for next month and what's the chances I'll get pulled? Um, for one, since you have an EcoBoost, that's a pretty good shot. Um, right now, we're still negotiating on allocations right now. Uh, we're not real happy with allocations we're supposed to be receiving or the the casey region in general um because they are from what we understand that they did tell us um if i can find my notes they did tell us they did tell us they're going to be and they're projecting for about 4700 i believe um being to be scheduled this month uh, for Maverick, so they're still on that projection that they had last month that they and that I mentioned to you guys. Um, I wrote that down somewhere, but um, but it looks like 
Uh, so they're looking like they're still projecting for that many. Well, in our opinion, that, well, if we had 45 scheduled last month when it was 2,700 and they're going to be 2,000 more this month that we're, we're expecting close to double. Um, right now, they're telling us, I don't know if I should tell the number. Okay, so right now, we're, supposed, we're getting 20. So, so half what we got last month. Um, but we're still in negotiation there. So we're still, we, what usually happens at wholesale is you say, here's, here's what you have, you know, in stock, here's what's in transit. Here's, you know, so here's what you should be getting in the next month. Uh, so then they tell you, okay, here's how many allocations we're going to give you. And then you can ask for supplement app, app, uh, allocations. Uh, and so we requested for a lot more. Um, we actually went ahead and requested for all of our orders. So we still have, I think over 300 orders that haven't been scheduled yet. So we requested for all of them, of course. We never get that many, but at least they know here's what we're expecting and here's what we want and we're serious about it. And we're gonna take all of those because we have those orders in. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we won't know final on wholesale until I think they said Thursday. Uh, so we still have two more days for those numbers to hopefully come up there. So I wasn't gonna mention in the live stream, but somebody asked and I like to give you what you want All right so i was uh, pretty mixed between the hybrid or 2.0 i ordered uh, july 13th my dealer told me i was ninth in the wait list i'm tired of waiting do you think i'd it'd be uh i'd go to 2.0 2 faster you would probably get it faster just because just like we mentioned on the mix for next month that you know 60 percent of them are going to be EcoBoost, and so you will we've we've kind of noticed that you know if we have we've seen people that have ordered in like even august that have gotten an eco boost so not only the engine is is something you might consider but also other things within that order so we know lariat luxury is 20 percent uh so if you're looking at eco boost lariat luxury that actually could bring you down a little bit closer to maybe what a hybrid is uh, but whereas maybe you're looking 2.0 with the luxury package that might get built and might be scheduled a little bit quicker so really just there's a lot of the things that can go in there so I, you know i have a lot of people that said i don't understand why i'm not scheduled yet and then i get i, I look at their order so again if you if you have an order with us <clears throat> get with your salesperson and i can look your order over and tell you here's some things that you might consider um we had a customer that had you know a tonneau cover like we mentioned a very low percentage of tonneau covers are being scheduled and i you know i suggest to take the tonneau cover off we have some in stock already uh, that haven't been you know haven't been taken uh, we can always order them as well we can get them in we can get them in a lot faster than the vehicle will probably get here and so we can get those covers for you uh, and we can put it on your truck when it gets here so that's something to consider so i can always do that so if you want your salesperson to do that have them get with me uh, and i can go over your order and uh, kind of look it over for you but again i kind of covered some of the things you might want to think about on the percentages for the the maverick you know as we talked about the more of the standalone options and again most of them are accessories uh, again dealer installed uh, options or options at the factory you know, keep with those. They haven't said anything about moonroof yet or power sliding rear windows. Uh, those seem to be okay. Uh, even the outlets, uh, the cab outlets and such, uh, they haven't been mentioning any of that. Either. <clears throat> okay, another one. Um, I'm gonna cut the Ford. I would like to see Blake show us a few more aftermarket parts available for the Maverick. Working on that too. Uh, he did really enjoy being with us on that live stream. So I, uh, I will probably get him back on here again with some more accessories. In fact, actually meant to show you this earlier. I uh, forgot to. So let me show you this. Okay, so here we have a, um, a Maverick that uh, the one that came in it was in the hot pepper red and we did some spray and liners. I actually meant to show you this one first. So there's the before. We did a spray and liner. This, they had five accessories added to this truck. Uh, many are things that you can get from the factory. Uh, so this one is a spray and bed liner. So as you can see, there's the before and then there's the after. So we, one of the things that we take, and I make a big deal about this and people ask, why do I make a deal? But when you get a spray and liner at the factory, they don't take off any of the hooks. Now these, as you know, on an XLT will have 10 tie down hooks. Well, they're going to spray over all of those uh, uh, more than likely because uh, they typically will spray in the liner. That's usually one of the last things that's done. So they'll build the truck. They'll take it out, they'll go to an accessory shop, and an accessory shop will then put the spray and liner. A lot of times they want to get these out as quick as possible, they'll spray over all those hooks. 
Um, I'm not sure about the cubbies, but we take all that stuff off, and it's really kind of hard to tell in this picture. Uh, this was actually taken before we took everything off, um, but they took all the all the D-Link hooks off of there, the, um, the, you know, that are on it. They took the, the covers off of those. I did ask them, they should have got a picture of what the cubby looks like with the cover off. Uh, but those covers were taken off and the cubbies were taken out and then they sprayed uh, and then they went and sprayed it and then put everything back and one of the reasons that we do that too and a lot of people ask well what's the benefit of that is that you're going to have better seal underneath those hooks so if you if you take them off you spray it then that the body is sprayed and then you can put the hooks on there you don't have to worry about water getting behind where those are screwed in at uh, you're going to have a good tight, tight seal also up at the top along the glass these are, uh, since these are unibody, they're, they're not a bed on there. We went ahead and uh, they went ahead and sprayed all the way up underneath the glass. So they taped off the glass and the bed rails and they sprayed up on there. So that way, if you get water coming down from that glass, it's not going to, you're not going to, it's going to protect the top of that uh, right underneath the window as well. So something else we added to it, uh, they added window tent. They wanted front window tent. So here's them kind of in the process of doing that. Uh, so we did that. So there's uh, the finished product there. So it'll have privacy glass in the rear windows, back glass, and then he wanted uh, some window tent on the front windows as well. Um, and then also we have, here is the, the door sill plates. Here's the before. Uh, so he wanted the, he ordered the, op, the, the deal, door sill plates, which we were able to get. So here's what it looks like. There's the front one. So there's a picture of that. So it looks really cool. They had him, uh, it's supposed to line up perfectly with those, uh, with the um, the molding inside, so that looks a pretty that, lo that looks pretty cool. I will say, I really like that. And then the back door also gets it, but it doesn't have the Maverick wording on there, as you can see here. So it kind of looks like that. So he wanted those added, and those look pretty sharp. I thought it looked uh, looked really good on the vehicle. And then also he wanted a de a uh, deflector, uh, a bug deflector on it. So that was added. So there's a before, and there's your after. So and uh, that one pretty cool that one actually adheres to the hood itself um, right there uh, double-sided tape I believe you know of course it's really thick you know what they put on those to keep those on uh, but it looks really cool and it's it's a molded in material same material as the bumpers uh, for the most part so just more textured uh, than anything and then also he wanted the splash guards a lot of people have asked for that that is a late availability item if you put the splash guards um, in there then <clears throat> oh. there we go uh sorry i had a there's a comment there okay yeah so splash guards is a late availability item uh you can't even get them on it right now if you have your order they won't even be scheduled but you can get those afterwards we're able to get those so there's the front one and it is a different part number for the back one so it's a little bit bigger for the back one uh, so there's a close-up of that and then we also got one uh, kind of a picture of both of them on from the side there so as you can see so splash guards again another item that you can't get um, you know so from the factory but you can get it afterwards so there's a, several accessories this customer added to their truck the spray and bed liner and of course bed cover we can do the same thing as well uh, so that's just something that you might think about so anyway um, so um, let's see here. Any other questions? I don't have any other on my list here. Uh, so any other questions there? Let's see here. Hmm. Those are the exact options I want. Maverick and, and Bedliner, uh, like we talked about. Yep. Yeah, we can do those pretty quick. Uh, I think um, usually we can do tent liner in the same day. So usually once that comes in, uh, as long as we have an availability open slot for uh, the tent liner, uh, that one we had to wait until uh, Monday because we were booked up for the week. Uh, for an aftermarket so it did take a couple extra days uh, just to get it in but so uh on the power um the vehicle i test drove did not have the luxury package so it didn't have not have the power seat um so i actually talk about that at the beginning of the video where i there is a adjustment where you can move the seat up and down uh, so there was not a lumbar on that seat there so Okay, my Maverick order is priority 12. Um, what do I need to get it to 10? You just ask the dealer. So that's the dealer controls anything from 10 to 19. That's the 19th the default. Um, so I don't know if they put most of their orders in as a 12. 
and then um, they go ahead and move ones that they really want to move to the top to a 10 I don't know why they're not just making a 10 uh, I'm not sure but um, so the dealer would have to do that hey Johnny thanks for answering some questions here I know you're pretty knowledgeable on this I appreciate you jumping in and answering some of those questions there I know okay so uh, I'm not sure if Kim got answered here but yeah so it depends on the bet the dealer might quoted me brain line of uh, vinyl floors uh, heart roll up at MSRP no markup yeah we're actually um, on all of ours we're doing here at the dealership for all of our Maverick orders we are doing a free install on those so uh, we noticed most of those parts are the same as they are from the factory so there's no extra cost there and then we're doing the free install so there's really it shouldn't cost any more to get those installed here at the dealership after you get it I'm not sure uh, most dealerships might you know have an install fee uh, especially if they have the service department install it uh, we are aftermarket department we have several guys in a department so they install it there so we can uh, we can kind of include the shipping into that cost of that so uh, any word on the first edition builds they are scheduling so uh, they should be being pulled and again we remember those do take the luxury package so that is going to be a smaller amount because of that luxury package not getting scheduled. So anyway, F-150 Lightning. Okay, Tim, give me a shout out and update on ordering. Okay, it looks like October 26th is the next date that we really have on F-150 Lightning. So we're waiting for that October 26th date. We're going to get more information probably in the next couple of weeks on that. Uh, but they, I did see something on our um, when when I go to build when I go to our locator. That actually shows um, a date of that date saying that's when they're going to be converted over I think what that really means is that that's when we're going to know on the process of switching over from reservation to orders uh, they did mention here let me I got it right here so in our uh, Ford wholesale they did mention about that here we go so it did say f-150 get ready communication coming soon on order conversion that will require dealer engagement customers will place orders in uh, USOBO usob in waves and with updated commodities and timing so we should know more information we know what alloc the allocation formula which will really help us out um, because we sell a lot of f-150s in our state and that is one of the things that helps us get more allocations so uh, we know that uh, for the for the state uh, allocations 50 percent is by how many f-150s are sold uh, from the nation uh, how we convert there but as a dealer it's and 50% of the share that we get for the state is based on our F-150 share of sale of F-150s, which we sell a ton of those. So that should be good for us, as well as uh, then, of course, board sales share of state as well. We do really well in our state. And then converted orders, 25%, and we do a really good job of converting our orders over. So that shouldn't be a problem there. So um how do i lock in the financing offers that are going on from the maverick or do i just accept those um you know that is a great question i'm not always involved in the order process um, but i believe you can lock in those incentives um when you go to do your order at any time so i think that i'll have to try to get some more information on that if they can lock those or on uh, those in on the maverick but from what i understand is when you order you can lock them in uh, or you can lock or or you get the incentives when they come in I don't see the the zero percent changing on these because there's so many that still haven't showed up I don't see that the, the incentives changing on the Maverick at least through the end of the year so I think you're good there so all right so increase hybrid build production it's less yeah, I won't read the rest of that, so I agree, but I won't read it. Uh, did you say the front and rear splash guards are different? Yes, they are. So they are a different number. Um, when Blake was on uh, a couple of weeks ago, he uh, was told that they would, because it looked like it would work on both, but it does not. It does take uh, someone uh, kind of let us know that on one of the uh, social media pages that they do all have different part numbers. And I actually did um, get uh, some screenshots of that, and I can kind of give you that information. Oops. Um, so yeah, they two do take two different part numbers. Oh, flash one off. Okay, so I think the front one, I think this is for the front. Um, oh, for one of them, it's NZ6Z 
A five five zero AA. So that is, I think, for the front one. And then the other one is basically the same number except for BA at the end instead of AA. So if you're wanting for all four, you're going to want to uh, order those. A set of two. So, and then you can get those through Ford. That's a Ford Accessories part number. So you should be able to get that with your Ford dealer. Your parts department should be able to get that for you without any problems there. So, all right. Yeah, push that like button. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Oh, thanks, Griffin. All right. So uh, you discuss what your dealership does when the truck gets delivered. Uh, what is the preparation process once it rolls off the trailer? Okay. So we have uh, someone that inspects the, the trucks when they come off the trailer. Uh, and he's also the person that sets the vehicles up. So first thing we do is he goes through, he's one of our techs, and all, the, the only thing he does all day is he, inspe he inspects the vehicles and he gets them set up. So the vehicles will come, come in without you know any antennas and stuff on that, plastic on them, that kind of stuff. So he checks them over, makes sure that the, the fluids are topped off, that they're filled up correctly and everything. So he kind of looks it over and inspects it like you would if you brought a vehicle in for an oil change. So he you know, checks the, the brakes, the tires, he checks everything over. He's looking for any, any imperfections in the vehicle. Um, you know, that sometimes that happens in shipping. So he checks all that stuff over uh, real closely, gets things, plastic taken off, puts things on that need to be put on. Uh, usually on the Mavericks, probably not too much. You know, F-150s, you got to put the antennas on, different things like that. Uh, if it has, you know, any, anything, any do, uh, dealer installed options, uh, those will have to be put on, you know. Uh, so I think actually like mud flaps are a dealer installed option when they're going to be available. So then they would install those. So any dealer installed options, they would install them as well. And then from there, it goes to, uh, usually goes to the salesperson. Uh, because then we, we work it out with you of when you're going to come pick up your vehicle. Because uh, we don't want to get it, we don't want it to get set up and then clean and then sit out here. And if it's going to be a couple of days before you show up, then it gets dirty. Uh, especially if it rains or something so we figure out when you're going to be here and then we're going to we do it nice and clean for you inside and out so it looks pristine and perfect uh and then we go from there so of course when it, as soon as it comes in we also get with you and let you know that your vehicle is has arrived and is here so hopefully that helps out with that so Okay, Tim, I have a $100 reservation on Lightning since before I ordered my Mav. Ordered my Mav Hybrid first edition in June. Uh, if Lightning orders begin in end of October, I wonder if I can come, um, if it will come before the Maverick. Uh, it shouldn't. Uh, we're hearing uh, the first Lightnings will show up in the summer, uh, next summer. So it's going to be a little while before they can be. So uh, you sh it should have a couple months that the order banks will be open before we have to have the deadline for those orders in to start you know going by your reservation number and such and then they're going to start scheduling and they'll on those there'll be a launch it's going to be real similar to the bronco on the lightning from what i understand uh so it, you know they've been telling us probably summer deliveries uh so unless things have, have changed on that um from what we know we'll get more information between now and the 26th uh then we can we can know some dates and everything and kind of let you guys know from there so Okay, so yeah, Johnny actually answered that. So your dealer can lock in this month's uh, offer, uh, but must have the original order demand in hand. Uh, original order demand in hand. It's the order sheet. Yeah. So that's that's kind of what I thought too. So uh, thanks for confirming that there. So I get. I think Johnny's bought a, a few vehicles and ordered special order to a, a few vehicles. Uh, so from what I understand from his watching his channel, so uh, I'm sure he he knows that. I usually don't lock in my incentives uh, necessarily um so but uh you can do that so cool okay since you're shipping my vehicle can we uh leave the plastic on the seats and the screen protector on uh so i can unwrap it when it like christmas um we probably could uh we'll just we need to get with your salesperson to make sure because usually when it comes off sometimes the plastic's on the seat and sometimes it's not um sometimes the, the transport driver uh they'll get in and out sometimes it kind of gets ripped a little bit um just to see i mean it should be fine um but uh, a lot of times when he you know when he set them up when he first you know 
drive them off and then we move them move them to the spot where they're going to get uh, set up and everything uh, usually they'll leave that, those on and they usually a uh, wash line takes them off so uh, you just to make sure your salesperson knows and then they let the the people the, there's only like two people involved in that process so as long as they let them know we should leave that on for you it shouldn't be a big deal Okay, so Michael just uh, just logged on, uh, asked about tonneau coverage. Yeah, we did cover that. Uh, looks like about, uh, it depends on what kind of cover you're looking at, anywhere from 3 to 5% of the scheduled builds will be uh, will have the covers on them. So, again, very low percentage. Uh, so, really up to you how fast you want it. Again, remember, bed covers can be always be added after you get your vehicle. Um, and be put on it and even you could even put them on a lot of them can be put on yourself they're pretty easy to install i uh, used to take about an hour to install it uh from our guys here probably take me too but <laughs> most of those guys probably take about an hour uh so why is my dealer telling me they can't okay i i think i missed your question earlier um davmel um uh, Maybe maybe somebody else answered that question above. So it's a good through March of 22. I saw something about the Maverick financing will be good through March of 22. Um, we're always given the deadline. Usually it goes month to month for us. Um, but and uh, you should be able to. I know that you can lock it in when you do your order. Uh, we've done that for a lot of our customers, especially like F-150 orders right now. We were told on um, if we ordered if we ordered some F-150s and ordered them as 21s that we can lock in that 0% for 72 for them. Uh, even if they get flipped to 22, Ford is going to be honoring that if that order gets flipped over because they didn't schedule for like a month. So uh, they want to try to, to, to be uh, kind of help out those customers that didn't get their 21s ordered because of that reason or didn't get it scheduled because of that reason. So they're going to honor that. So you can lock in incentives at the beginning. Uh, I just don't know if you can do it, you know, if you have, if it has to be done at the order or after. And it looks like from what Johnny's saying that you can do that afterwards. So I uh, should be able to lock those incentives in um, without a VIN number. So. Yep, Stephen, I did. Um, actually, I kind of told you we couldn't lock in, but on the 13th, yep, you're on my list. So I'll make sure that that uh, gets accomplished and we uh, we switch your order over so we can get it scheduled as quick as possible. Rocco Sport Badlands 22 can be ordered right now. We have a couple on order. Uh, and uh, Bronco Sports are being scheduled this week, and I believe the ones that are being scheduled are 22s, not 21s. So, um, but yep, be good. In fact... Look at my notes here. Yep, so, yeah, because the only thing left, 21, uh, looks like that's wholesale for this month is Mustang for 21. About everything is 22. F-150 is also 21. Uh, December startup uh, is coming up, but Bronco Sport um, production month is, yeah, 22 Bronco Sport is scheduling this month for December. Um, scheduling so yep so bronco 22 bronco sport is scheduling right now for this month it should i think i don't think we have any bronco sport allocations though as of right now we're working on it or wait actually well, that sheet. we should have because we have a couple bronco sports on order Yep, we have three. Actually, we have three allocations for Bronco Sport, so that should cover. I think we only have a couple of Bronco Sport orders, so that should cover those. So, uh, do Michelin tires come on the hybrid Lariat? I believe. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Michelin. I know there are Pirellis on the one the the FX4 package on that one that came in. Uh, they were Pirellis. Uh, I think it depends on what are what's available. Uh, when they go to do that so again it's all has to do with parts materials available and that kind of stuff and they have several different tire companies they work with uh, so it really just depends when does the 22 end for mavericks not anytime soon larry so you should be able to be good i know that i did see something on social media where somebody was Salespeople were telling uh, customers that um they couldn't order a 22 anymore that it was going to be a 23 on a uh, Echo Sport or something, and that, that's from what I understand. We're still ordering them, so we're good. Uh, we're able to order them and put them in there, and uh, it's going to be a while before 
uh, usually, I mean, th this model year should go through the summer. So it's going to be like probably, you know, September, or it's going to probably be, you know, next summer before they're going to flip over to 23 model year production. So we have a while. We're going to get a, a lot more of these 22s are going to get scheduled and be built. We should be able to, to build them uh, through the summer. So uh, do you know if uh, Ford ships from the factory at all before EPA ratings? Or if they have built hybrids sitting in Mexico. Yeah, there are the hybrids are waiting for EPA testing. So that I've been told that um, from not only the marketing team, but also the brand manager that we are waiting for that. I actually did get an email on Sunday night that says we do not have the okay to buy. Or, okay to buy means that they can be released. So that means the customers can buy them. So um, that's what that, that okay uh, OKTB okay, is okay to buy, which means that they can be released from the factory so customers can buy them when they come in. So those have not been done yet. Um, from Those have not been released for that. So we, we're waiting on the EPA testing. Uh, and as of Sunday night, the email I got from the brand manager, that has not, not, not happened yet. So we're waiting for that. So. <clears throat> All right. I wanted... For a second, never accept the constraints on that. All right, thanks. Okay, so we're getting close to time here, and um, and I might next uh, next week actually. I want to let you guys know now. I'm going to a conference next week, so next Tuesday night, uh, we're going to be live streaming from my hotel room in Vegas. So um, we're going to do a live stream there. So I am going to keep this going. So uh, if I take vacation time or whatever, uh, I'll make sure that I'm back in time for these live streams and keep it going as long as you guys want to. I enjoy answering questions for you guys. Um, but next week we will be, I, I'm going to a conference. In fact, what's kind of funny is the conference I'm going to, we have twice a year, it's called digital dealer. And it's actually, it's at that conference is where I learned, where I kind of learned to do and thought of the idea of doing videos back in 2014. And I came back and started doing video walk arounds and, uh, kind of took over from there. <clears throat> and so, uh, you can thank this conference for that. So I'll be going and seeing what else I can learn this week. Um, at that conference so Tuesday though I will be live streaming from the hotel room so hopefully we have good connections and everything so just kind of a fun warning there but we should be good I'll get everything loaded to my laptop and we can do this on the road and the hotel room um, Tim can drop ship still uh, went after scheduled the build date I uh, know uh, the if you want it drop shipped that location of drop ship it's like an option in a sense so you have to have it put on where it's going to be delivered to prior to it being scheduled so if it's been scheduled and uh, you know the dealership is um, where it's good right now it's set up and we didn't get that on your order then it's going to be shipped here and then we'll have to deliver it out to you so I think the really important ones for us, because I think we've we try to contact and find a dealership that will allow us to drop ship. Uh, it's up to dealers; they can choose not to do those or, or not. Uh, we found a lot of dealerships after these videos kind of got popular out there, and uh, people started talking about you know our videos <laughs> and to me and and such. A lot of them have been like not working with us on drop ships, and so um, you know, we'd like to actually have them delivered here because then we can inspect them, check them over. If you want any accessories, especially since right now it's hard on accessories, we can put them on and then we can ship them out to you. So when we're covering most of the cost of that, uh, Hawaii, the, the orders that we have in Hawaii are the ones that are most important. We have to drop ship those there. Uh, just It's just too expensive to ship over. Uh, so we're saving those people in Hawaii some money. Um, so those are the, the main ones we want to do. But we do have some of you out there that we're doing drop ship instead of delivery here and, and shipping it. Uh, but that has to be done before it's scheduled. So it can be changed right now if it's still in order, uh, priority 10, but it has to be done before it gets scheduled. Once it's scheduled, we cannot make that change. <coughs> hmm. Oh, Stephen, you ordered, you drove another Maverick. You drove a Maverick and you order another one. Okay. Um, with the XL, Maverick XLT with the Larry with the luxury package, but with constraints, should I wait? Um, I don't like. I think you should get it in because again, we can always make those changes for your order. But uh, you're better off going ahead and getting submitting it with that luxury package and getting those changes in because again, even though the numbers are low, twenty percent, it's still you got a one in five shot uh, in getting that order in. And so the earlier you get it in, the earlier you get to the move to the top of that line. 
uh, as I go through that. So that's always something to think about. And, and you never know. There might be people out there that are like, nope, I want the tonneau cover from the factory. I don't want the dealership to install that. I want it done there. I want the spray and bend line or whatever. And so they're very adamant on their order. So you might get to move up above them uh, if they're very, you know, they want to stay with that. So you might get scheduled a little sooner than you think, especially if you're looking at an EcoBoost. No problem, Ricky. Uh, let's see, Tim, thanks again for the information and the time. You take the answer to our questions. No problem. I actually came up seeing you on Johnny's uh, live stream, so uh, really good to see you're checking out all the all the videos and learning as much as you can. So again, there's uh, you know a lot of a lot of especially in the automotive world, there's a lot of great YouTube channels out there, and um, you know, there's a lot of other dealer channels that maybe, you know, as dealers are like, oh, you're my competition, so don't watch their videos. But, you know, there are some great YouTube channels out there. Johnny's is one of them. Uh, and he really, you know, I like his videos because he really, like, really tries to help educate the people. Uh, him not being a dealer really helps that, too, and get that message across. So, um, and then, uh, of course, you know, Town & Country TV, they do some great videos. They're doing a lot of videos right now on Bronco. Um, you know, because they have some Broncos in he, he uh, his own. I'm probably doing some Bronco videos when I get mine as well. Um, but, you know, he does some great videos. They have a great aftermarket team as well, like we do here. Um, so they have some great videos. Uh, you know, there's some other great ones. And I don't go looking for a lot of the different uh, channels out there, but uh, just and coming across some of the others, I've seen them out there. And there's some good good ones out there. And I'll be watching a lot of different reviews tonight, you know, tonight, tomorrow, I'm going to be watching some of those reviews out there. And uh, so also, if any of you down there has a, um, the, oh, by the way, um, the link for Johnny's uh, YouTube channel is in the description. So just open up that description and the link is down there for Johnny's YouTube channel. So check that out. Um, and also... Oh, I'm not sure what I was saying now. <laughs> I'm going to check out some of those. I, if somebody knows about a hybrid uh, test drive that somebody did, drop that down there in the uh, drop drop it on the, the chat. I love to because I want to watch a, a hybrid. I want to see what the impressions are. And actually, I, um, Johnny, I don't think I got a chance to watch yours. Did, uh, I think Johnny drove a hybrid as well. Uh, so I might rewatch Johnny's video because I think I, I watched a little bit. and was going to come back and watch the rest and I got and it had to get taken down. So I missed it. So I'll rewatch his video. All right, so to do hybrid XLT luxury ordered 625 and confirmed 628. Any chance I will get a build date before the end of the year? Well, Ellen, we hope so. Uh, there are some things that, you know, you, know, you might, what did you, what, what optional equipment did you add to your hybrid XLT luxury? Is that all you added? Did you add any other standalone options that might delay it? Um, but also it just really depends on your dealership, how many allocations they have. Uh, how many other orders were ahead of yours? Um, you know, June 25th was pretty early. I think it opened up on the 8th or 9th. Uh, so that is pretty early. Um, uh, again, a lot of times, too, you need to make sure your dealership uh, completed it through the ROVP process. Um, they actually talked more about that with us this week. Uh, they actually, because we were talking about our allocations, and then they asked us, we'll say, well, do you have those confirmed through the COVP process? And we're like, yes, we have 360 orders that were that have been approved through that, that process. So right now, Ford is not giving dealers allocations if they have not submitted those orders through the COVP or on the Maverick, the ROVP process. So I'm just... If you have an order with a dealership, make sure they went through that process with you. All right. Once I order the Bronco Sport Badlands, how long takes to build and ship? Um, well, I would say on most years, if you order a vehicle that's already like Bronco's already Bronco Sports already been going, uh, and they probably kept they they're already up to speed with the the launch uh, vehicles already been shipped. So at this point, it's really just you know continuing those builds. So it shouldn't take too long. Uh, it really just depends on how you order your vehicle again, just like with the Maverick, on um, what you have ordered. And like we said, we went through the commodity on Bronco Sport, so you want to probably make sure you stay away from moonroofs, it looks like, for one. It looks like Outer Banks with moonroof and Big Ben with moonroof are not getting scheduled. Zero percent are getting scheduled for 22. Uh, if you're wanting a Badlands, it's eight percent. So it might take a little while to get that scheduled. Once it's scheduled and you get a scheduled date, you usually can figure about four weeks from the date it's supposed to get built. Like my Bronco is going to get built tomorrow. Say it again. I'm, as you can tell, I'm excited. Um, but my Bronco is getting built tomorrow. And uh, so from what we've seen from some people that got theirs built recently, 
I'm really hoping to have it by, you know, early November. I'd love to see it by in this month. Uh, that'd be awesome. But uh, we know that, uh, you know, about four weeks to get it uh, delivered to you from once it gets built. So I think, uh, Johnny, did you say yours came a little quicker than four weeks? Uh, I think if he's still in the, in the stream, I don't know if he is, but I think he got his pretty quick as well there. So uh, when do you think used Mavericks will be available? Um, it'd probably be a little while, of course, um, but probably usually six, nine months uh, after they start hitting, the, the new ones start hitting probably. We'll start seeing people that will maybe, um, you know, some some people will sometimes get something uh, that they maybe didn't want. They settled with something, and then they ordered maybe a second one. And it, when that second one comes in, they may trade it in for that one because they still are going to be, especially uh, something like this where it hasn't been, many have been produced, they're going to bring a lot of money. As, as you can see right now, and I've I've seen a lot of hatred of dealers and uh, on the on social media that are pricing over MSRP. But as you can see, the supply and demand is there for people that that maybe haven't even had their scheduled yet, but they want one and they're willing to pay over MSRP. And so dealers are going to get raising those prices and that and that the you know supply and demand and the you know the the price of those vehicles are going up you're seeing a lot of them at dealers that are, i've seen a lot in california that are nine thousand dollars over msrp um, which is crazy uh i've seen a lot that are five thousand over msrp uh, we are pricing ours up over msrp our stock units uh we're doing about 2500 uh we feel like that's fair but not outrageous uh again another some people have said that's shame on us but you have to remember with the lower amount of stock units that we have all the ones that we have on order are retails that are pretty much sold units i think it's almost more disrespectful to um to the people that did a special order if you let allow them to buy it at msrp so if they're buying if they're ordering your vehicle and they have to wait two three four five months to get their vehicle and they get to get it at msrp and then a stock unit comes in and a customer comes in and can buy it right at msrp that would almost be, uh, to me, that's rude. That's that's disrespectful to those people that have waited uh, and just said, well, maybe I could have just waited for a stock unit and just been lucky and get there at the time or, you know, call you right when one comes in or call you when it's on your website and negotiate with you real quick and get it MSRP and then and get it. So that that's my thinking on it. I mean, and yeah, I work at a Ford dealer and and such but we do try to be fair we've always prided ourselves in selling our vehicles at what wholesale is and right now uh wholesale used to be invoice we priced all of our vehicles invoice minus rebate that's usually it's what we always did uh, when this changed and they started closing the plants down and everything and then our inventory started you know going down we didn't have vehicles one of the things we noticed is we had we started pricing our vehicles at msrp uh, and then we started seeing customers buying our vehicles at msrp and then going down to an auction a week later and selling our vehicle for 5000 over MSRP and making that money cuz there were dealerships buying them at 5000 over and going down to Texas and they were selling them for 10 grand over so we found uh, people that were making money off of our inventory so um so you know we always pride ourselves in and and kind of wholesale pricing whatever they go for at the auction whether it be new vehicles are sold at the auction by the way that's kind of the pricing we try to go with and for right now we feel like 2500 over msrp on a stock high uh, stock maverick is fair uh pricing so we're not we're not gouging too you know that much we're not doing nine grand we're not doing five grand so um so hopefully i know some people are going to be upset with that but hopefully you can understand and see that still got to pay the sales people and there are a lot of dealerships that are going out of business right now because they don't have you know they, they don't have inventory for their salespeople to make to to sell to make a living so got to keep that in mind we have families too and we have try to pay people it's just something we are passionate about and enjoy doing so tim my hybrid maverick is going drop ship from your dealership uh if i add the wheel lock kit to my order will it be installed by the dealer i'm picking up from also is there an install fee so wheel locking kit that is a dealer installed option <clears throat> it comes with the vehicle so what i usually will do is it'll get either shipped to that dealership prior to um or come it'll be long wheel locking kit uh is basically four bolts uh that are that are given to you you basically and a, and a wrench so you take four one of each a bolt from each wheel off and you add uh, the locking bolt on 
we typically don't install those and put them on the vehicles. We leave them in the vehicle on our stock units. Um, our retail units, if they want them installed, then we would do that. It's a real easy install, um, but it really depends on the dealership. Hopefully they wouldn't, they shouldn't charge you for that. A dealer installed option should not be charged by the dealer. Um, so that's already figured in. They're already getting there. Every dealer, when they set up a vehicle, they're getting paid. The service department is getting paid for each one of those. So <clears throat> the Bronco builds on my birthday. So Ricky, your birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday. Day early. <laughs> Okay, so it is 810. I actually was supposed to be on a live another live stream at 845, so I probably need to end soon, but uh some great questions. Five six over MSR in Tennessee, more than range or similarly equipped. So yeah, five to seven thousand in, in there. And we're gonna probably continue to see that until some of these retail units start hitting the dealerships, which should be any time now. Uh we should be seeing um, you know, the stock units were started about two weeks prior to, you know, it, we're beginning of October. So here in the next week to two weeks, we should start seeing your customer builds uh around the world is showing up at dealerships so i think when we start seeing that we might see those numbers come down uh really hard to tell um uh, transparency awesome well i appreciate it i i really from the very beginning uh, i'll be honest when i came into the car business i was not expecting to do this for very long i was doing something else it was just uh you know uh just something that i was just like well i'll do this for now until i find something else but you know i i you know had the same thinking you know car salesmen people don't like car salesmen you know they're greedy and i'm not that type of person i don't think i could sell cars well and i over the years i've just just pride myself in being honesty integrity and that's just the way i am and the dealership here is that way as well and that's why i really love working for them it's family owned Five, fifth generation MacArthur's now, and they're great people to work for. And um, that's just the, the, the thing around here. We don't hire good sale. We don't hire great salespeople to work here. We hire great people that fit into the family here at Law MacArthur. So that's just one of the things. And I, I'm not trying to sell the dealership, but I love working here and I love what I do. Uh, I love learning about the product and telling people about it in my videos. Uh, and getting that information out there and and helping our you know i'm pretty much an internet manager so my job is to just do whatever i can to help the dealership market to people and um i started doing that 18 years ago when i put vehicles on auto trader that nobody else did new vehicles and we were selling them all over the country and it just went from there so um is this a week scheduling off september october allocations off september allocations next week is when we start on october's allocations. so we should get the final numbers on october's allocations at the end of this week second maverick yes steven uh, i will work with uh, mike let uh, to get your second order in fact i'll probably work most of that for you uh, but we'll get your second one so I'll, I'll make note here we'll make sure we give you a call tomorrow uh, we'll, or, or email if you want to Stephen you have my email address if you want to just go ahead and email me your build and I'll make sure it gets ordered tomorrow okay that sounds good so just give me your build and I'll get it scheduled for you or I'll get it ordered there and send you all the information email you all the information we need there uh, uh, colors for Bronco Sport Badlands um, they're pretty similar if I remember right there were a couple colors not available uh, for this year uh, rapid red is not available this year but hot pepper is uh, i'd have to look up the order guide uh, on the colors for bronco sport badlands um, not too many changes there i don't think and uh, we know the building price isn't on the website yet but order guides are available so we can order uh, based on the order guides for you on a 22 bronco sport all right well um thanks for all the questions everybody i really appreciate it again if you're not subscribed to the channel uh hit that red subscribe button down below uh don't forget hit that notification bell so you can get notified i don't have a lot of videos i won't annoy you with videos being sent out there but you know um i just i do outside of the live stream i only do about one to pay me two videos a week um all right now i have about three i have like two or three videos that i've recorded uh, within the last couple of weeks that i just i haven't time to to, to um to add it yet uh just because of the time we're getting so many bronco uh so many orders and i'm trying to help everybody so uh, that's priority to me than editing videos but we'll try to get those uh out usually when i go on a trip like i am this week i'm um, sitting on a plane for hours uh that's a great time for me to just sit down and edit nothing gets in my way i can't take phone calls or anything so i can sit there and edit so we'll get a couple of videos probably next week 
uh, during that week when I'm able to do that. But don't forget, uh, hit smash that like button. Hopefully all of you have right now. Oh, thanks, uh, Kimbers, for uh, joining the Law MacArthur crew. Uh, again, don't forget about, I was about ready to mention that too. If you want to be a member, hit that join button. You'll learn a little bit more information about that become a member uh and we'll do some special what basically on that we're doing some special videos for you guys giving you some posts more of the behind the scenes stuff and that kind of thing uh so um oh real quick last question before i get out jackie asked about 22 mustang um that is going to be a little while i think 22 mustang um scheduling is a long ways from now they're still doing 21s on those um February startup for 22 Mustangs. So it's going to be a while before we see 22 Mustangs uh, being scheduled. So anyway, again, thanks for watching this uh, live stream. Appreciate it. Don't forget, click on those links. If you want to join me on, I'm going to be talking more about what I do, what I've been doing for Law MacArthur. Uh, the reason I'm on this live stream is because I was actually in automotive news uh, a couple weeks ago they did an article and so this guy reached out and he wants to, to have me on there so i'll be talking a little bit about what i do and how i uh why the article was written about me and that kind of thing so if you want to join me on there i think about 8 50 is when i'm going to be coming on to the to the zoom call and the live stream there so you can join me on there links in the description for that don't forget about johnny's uh, uh youtube channel as well so jump in and also subscribe to his channel too uh he's a great channel i think you really like it and he deserves a little more uh, subscribers there so again uh thanks johnny for coming in on the live stream too i appreciate the help there and again uh thanks to uh, my moderator jeffrey for joining me as well and kind of moderating some of the comments here for me i really enjoy it uh, his help and again thanks for watching the video till next week or until the next video which could be just in a couple days depends on what information we get I'll see you later.